for tuning in to another episode of World Dance Workout with Olga and my partner Mihai. On this episode, we're going to show you some traditional Persian dance steps that you're going to be able to take with you to your next party. Um, just a quick note about Persian dance. Um, again, you're going to be able to use these steps to any Iranian Persian music, um, but we do have a differentiation between classical Persian dance and then more village style, a style we call bandari, which we'll show you in another episode. Um, so again, similar to how we talked about in our Armenian dance video, uh, grace and poise and posture are very, very important. So a lot of the finger positions, the head position, uh, shoulders, all of these things are very, very important when doing Persian dance. So uh, let's get started. So as usual, we're going to give you a breakdown of the steps first before we put it to music. The very first thing we're going to do is we're going to start by accenting our shoulder. So again, shoulders in Persian dance are very, very popular um, and you really want to isolate your shoulder from the rest of your body. So you're going to take your right hand and the middle finger of your right hand and place it on, uh, on your crown. Imagine that you're a pretty Persian princess. Let's take a step back. All right. The other hand, you're going to take your middle finger and your thumb and draw them slightly closer to each other. Yes, so there's a little bit of a space. Nice, so now your posture is ready. And we're gonna do one, two, three, switch. One, two, three, forward. You're going to wash the windows. One, two, three, four. Notice I'm using my hip with that. And now I'm going to come up, rotating my shoulder back five, six, seven, eight. One more time. Shoulder, two, three, switch. Shoulder, two, three, windows. One, two, three, four. Bring it up, six, seven, eight. Awesome. So the next step we're gonna do is a very basic step, um, very common in Persian dance. You're going to take your foot forward. One, two, three. Again, one, two, three. Notice I'm rotating my hip with that. One, two, three. One, two, three. If you've ever done salsa, you may notice that it kind of resembles a salsa step, but with the Cuban motion, we have more of a forward back with our hip. This is more of a rotation around. All right, so we're gonna go. One, two, three. One, two, three. Forward and together. Forward and together. Lovely. But of course, we need to dress those hips up with some arms. So what you're gonna do is, I call it show off your ring. So you're again, your one hand is gonna go to your princess crown. The other hand, you're going to rotate the wrist towards yourself as if you're looking at your ring. Switch. One, two, three. One, two, three. Lovely. One, two, three. So now let's put it together with the feet. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. Same movement, we're gonna rotate in a circle. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. Lovely, do it again. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Now go the other direction. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Great, you might see a shoulder shimmy come up once in a while. Everyone knows how to shoulder shimmy. Right, alternating your shoulders, right, left, right, left. All right, and then let's talk about uh, this crossover step. So you're gonna take your left foot and you're gonna cross one, two, three, four, and you're going to accent your hip up. Five, six, seven, eight. Do the same thing to the other side. One, two, three, position four. Lift your hip, five, six, seven, eight. From here, you're going to step flat into your heel and rotate uh, your hips back. One, two, three, four, five, six, a wink and a smile, other way. One, two, three, take your time. Five, six, seven, eight. All right, so those are pretty much all of the steps you're gonna see and we're gonna loop them over and over and over. All right, let's do it. Bye. 